We have been waiting for the new map Darkwoods for quite some time now and finally we got two gameplay trailers that not only show us the new map but also a new upcoming survivor, the little girl. And today I want to take a closer look at these two trailers. Starting with the English version of the trailer which was released on the official Identity 5 YouTube channel and oh my god, Darkwoods looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the little fireplace, don't look at me! Oh, very scary dogs. We have a little swing that the little girl is sitting on and she's also swinging across the river. We have the, what I think is the main building here. We can swing with the crane. Bane can also swing. Very, very interesting. Ooh, a lot of interactive possibilities on this map. I really, really like it. And just look at the background. Look at the map in general. It looks so beautiful. We have the little girl here coming in for the rescue. They're opening up the exit gates and they're getting out and I also like the the exit when you look outside of the map Okay, 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 we're gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna check out the Chinese trailer now, which was released on Weibo Oh, what an overview. Oh, we have two swings. We have two swings that we can use to jump across the river Oh, that looks very very beautiful. I like these shots a lot. Look at the map This is the main building. We can see two exits one on the front and one on the side we have the furnace right here, the little fireplace, oh, yeah, there we can see the two exits on the on the main building. I really like that. And it seems like we can actually interact with the swing too. It's kind of reminding me of the Moonlit River Park where we can interact with the carousel. It doesn't really do anything, but you can do it. You can jump over the river. Ooh, the fire, the bonfire outside also looks really, really nice. Oh, God, I can't wait to get on this map to play on this map there we have the novelist jumping down look at these areas we have the little girl almost not able to reach over the cypher machine we can cross the river by walking through it too i'm really curious to see if we can actually release the dogs or if the dogs are actually doing something and look at the outside of the map too I really, really like what they did so far. All right, this map looks absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about the key features on this map. Starting with the area that impressed me the most, the Green River that is surrounded by three trees and we also have platforms that we can get on and we also have the possibility to use swings to get from one side of the river to the other side and it looks just absolutely beautiful. I love the green of the river and I love the options that we have in this area. And talking about interaction options that we have on this map and swinging from one one side to another we also have a crane that we can use to jump from one lock stack to another then we have the main building on this map which looks really really interesting to me we have at least two main entrances as well as a window that we can wall to jump into the building and then we have the upstairs where we also have two directions that we can go in to get out of that building the swing on the map seems to be an interactive feature on the map as well but it looks like it is like the carousel on the moon and river park map you can get on the swing but there is no upside to it you can't really you know escape the hunter by doing so i'm very very excited to explore this map myself because there there's so many areas to discover and we also saw the hounds in the cages. I'm curious to see if these are also interactive features, if we can actually release the hounds to, you know, either hunt down survivors or slow down the hunters. And last but not least, the exit gate. If we look outside of the exit gate, we can see a really nice scenery, very, very detailed. And this might be a really small detail, but in my opinion, I like that. I like to get through an exit gate where I can see the exit is beautiful. Yes, I want to escape through the gate because it is so nice out there. I also want to hear your opinion on this map. I personally am very, very excited about this map. It looks really, really beautiful. We have a lot of very nice features that we can use, but we have to wait until the map is in the game. We have seen this before where we have a new map, but it's not really balanced. So hopefully it is balanced right away when it comes out. I'm very curious. Again, leave me comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a fat like as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the Gaming Chris!